It's a real privilege for me to be talking to you because uh, you really are, as a group, en masse, at the very cutting edge of alcohol consumption. <laughs> and uh, I think the statistics speak for themselves. We're, uh, we're all looking for the stowaway from the marketing forum. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, been absolutely fantastic. And uh, I have to say the last speech I gave was on the finance director's forum, which for cost reasons was on a dredger in the Thames estuary. <laughs> and uh, I was speaking about major investment opportunities and how to avoid them. Now, uh, before I uh, crack on with the speech, I should introduce myself a little bit more detail, even though I had an excellent introduction from uh, Brian, because I know 50% of you will be sitting out there thinking, who the hell is he? And the other 50% will be thinking, if that's Les Dennis, he doesn't look well. <laughs> so, I just thought I'd take a few minutes to introduce myself and what I do. I'm actually creative director of Smokehouse, which is an innovation consultancy, and we help companies come up with new products and services. And how we do this is we go off to a lovely hotel in the country somewhere with really good food, really good wine, excellent leisure facilities, perhaps a little bit of golf. We don't actually come up with any good ideas, but we do have a bloody good time. <laughs> and let's face it, that's what the marketing budget is for. In agency terms, we are what is known as a one-stop shop. And by that, I mean our clients tend to use us once <laughs> and never again. Now, of course, we do have a website, and please feel free to visit us at <laughs> our site. No one's actually got through yet, but... Please do keep trying. <laughs> Let's get on to the meat of the presentation, or for any vegetarians, the soya bean of the presentation. Now, um, I'm going to be talking about some of the big PIMS questions, and I'm sure you'll all be familiar with them. Will e-commerce radically change our businesses? Is it possible to benchmark portfolio management? Is pension provision a major area of opportunity? Will M&As continue in IFAs? Regulation and compliance, are they really necessary? Can you combine high return and low risk? These are the big PIMS questions. And these are the answers. <laughs> That's good. We don't want to get bogged down in those, do we? So <laughs> let's... Uh, What I want to talk about is uh, creating competitive advantage. And what I'm going to do straight away, because I know you want to know what it is, I'm going to tell you what the secret of competitive advantage is. So if you don't want to know, look away now. <laughs> All the pensions advisors are going, oh! Right, secret of competitive advantage. Very simple. Think harder, act faster, serve better. Now it is very simple. And as soon as I talk about creativity to people who wear suits, they say, ah, fair enough, love to be creative, but I'm not a creative person. Well, let me ask you a question. Think of the job you currently do. Think of the CV you wrote to get that job, and now tell me you're not creative. <laughs> and what I'm going to do now is to go through seven techniques of how you can think outside the box you personally, or you and your team. Right, there's only one bit of theory, and that is you can't solve a problem with the same thinking that created it. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. One of the things I work on, or have worked on a lot, is cat food. How do you improve cat food? Huge market, they need to innovate in it. Now, if I asked you to come up with good ideas for cat food, after about five minutes, you'd run dry. So instead, I'd like you to think about this glass of water. 
because I'm not thinking about cat food, I'm thinking about water. Now, this isn't just a glass of water. It has all sorts of properties. It has a base, it's transparent, it's a liquid, there's surface tension here, there are little uh, bubbles in the water, and it's a, a container. Now, I'm thinking about the glass of water here, and now if I apply that thinking back to cat food, it uh, gives me all sorts of suggestions. It's uh, surface tension. You could have a container of cat food that a cat could open itself with its little paw so you wouldn't have to uh, feed it when you were away on holiday. <laughs> you think it's funny. You should think of the millions of pounds just gone behind that idea. <laughs> It's got a little base here. You could have a base of rice and you could have uh, layers of meat on top of it, a layered meal. It's transparent. You could have a see-through container so you can see what the uh, cat's being given. It's a liquid. You could have cat soup. And by that, I mean soup for cats, not forcing your cat into a liquidizer. <laughs> so all sorts of ideas, little tiny bubbles. They could be tiny little croutons in the cat food to sharpen the cat's teeth. All those came from this glass of water and not from thinking about cat food. And all the techniques I'm about to show you for thinking outside the box require that you stop thinking about your problem and start thinking about something else.